When conducting NSW activities online, have you ever stumbled upon someone you knew? Yeah, I found a girl I had known since elementary school doing P. The kicker, she changed her last name for P to mine. Live. I found a video of a friend, female, masturbating to her webcam. Apparently she was cyberfreaking and the douchebag recorded and posted in Yapon with her full name. I came across to it while fapping. Shocked but aroused I finished my fap, emailed yapon.com demanding to take it down and in less than 2 hours it was down. I did download a copy though, never mentioned it. That's nice of Yapon to be quick like this. Yes sadly, I've been known to browse the escort sections of Backpage and previously Craigslist. I stumbled upon a close friend in a real tough spot, it broke my heart. I've never told her I found it, but I always try to find reasons to give her cash, birthdays, holidays, I make small unwinnable bets, etc. I hope I'm handling it right. If you want to help her you should probably hire her. I went to high school with a very famous Japanese P-star, super famous actually, Maria Ozawa, my family knows her family, and it's really heartbreaking for them. I went to high school with London Keys, at the time she wasn't involved in P, obviously, so I don't know if that counts. Lon Donkers. A girl I know, who is also a little known suicide girl, popped up in that Facebook of P ad that's about, scared the crap out of me for a second, thought I'd been typing searches into my FB status. Stumbled upon, no, searched out, abs are freaking lordly, the google foo is strong with this one. Teach me the ways of the dark side of google foo, my master. I've fapped on video chat room and there was a girl with cam who started watching me, it was my ex-girlfriend's cousin. I got one, so about 8 years ago me and my next door neighbor were pretty good friends, regular mischief and drug experimenting, and my buddy had a hot older sister, like 10 of 10, looked a lot like Gage or Cindy Bell, petite and perfect, anyway we are tormenting all sorts of stuff and since we were young and basically shared the internet at my house we would download P and then divvy it up onto our phone or iPod 4, a trip to Fap City of course. The basic protocol was to watch the first 30 seconds to know it was good and then move along. Well this one torrent opens and you hear the classic cheesy music. Crappy fade in. Camera pans over some super hot legs up a gorgeous naked little body and stops on my buddy's sister's face. Holy crap. Buddy start creaking out jumps for the computer but I had some sweet moves so I swirled in the chair to put the high back to him just as he lunged. Perfect timing to because he then toppled to the floor and pulls out the keyboard and mouse. So dart now he can't even get the video to stop. I'm dying laughing as he frantically tries to get the controls to work and simultaneously watching his sister suck not one, but two dudes. Probably a highlight of our friendship. TL. DR. Neighbor buddy and me saw his sister in P awesomeness. I found a girl that I went to church camp with, every year, from 7th grade to 10th grade, on suicide girls. If you search for Rayleigh, that's her. No, that's obviously not her real name, so unbunch your panties we need to talk crowd. I was thinking of Rayleigh scattering. On college humor, my roommate when we were in first year searched for our... Canadian University, up came a picture of a girl from the neck down holding a sign saying greetings from school, with a tiny sticker over each nipple. He showed it to me and we then came to the realization that the picture had to have been taken in our dorm building judging by the room layout, drapes, radiator, etc. And the date added was quite recent. There's only 4 floors and the color scheme varies by floor so we narrowed it down to 1 floor. There's only about 40 people per floor so we called down a friend of ours that lived on that floor and with his help we narrowed it down to a few possible girls. There was a small mole on the bicep of this girl so we facebook creeped the girls and found that one with the matching mole. My roommate then called someone he knew would have this girl's number and then called he up and called her out on it. She laughed said she thought it was funny but that it wasn't her. A few days later, my roommate was showing the image to his girlfriend. Her roommate walks by and says hey those are, girl we suspected, s boobs, guy we know, took that picture. And so yeah, that's the story of how we identified some mystery boobs. I found my high school biology teacher on Guess Muff a couple months ago. I was friends with her on Facebook. 
and confirmed that the dog in the picture was hers. It went okay. One time, back in the days of 7chan I believe, I found a topless picture of my best friend's little sister, and two friends, fossing for the camera, all covering boobs, in multiple angles. They all went to Catholic school. One day I told my friend about it. I'm not sure what was more awkward. Trying to explain how I actually did stumble onto it. JB thread on 7chan. Or that I saw his little sister nearly naked. Note. At the time I was about 17 and I think she was 13 or 14. As were her friends. What happened after you told him? How did he respond to this? Someone I knew from primary school has starred in a few gay P films. He's not even that attractive and the P is of pretty poor quality. His P name was terrible. That's not a very imaginative P name. Ex-girlfriend's mother. Go on. Well I found a girl I currently work with. And let me say she isn't one of those girls who made one or two films. I have now seen her give a guy a footy. That is just one of hundreds. Not exaggerating of films she has starred in. I can never look at her the same again. Or her feet. Sort of, one of the girls that lived in my dorm my first year at school had her phone stolen, and apparently she had a few naked pictures of herself on it that she had probably sent to her boyfriend. Well, the person that stole her phone uploaded them to her Facebook account. As horrible as it sounds, I looked at them. I shouldn't have, but I did anyway. She was good looking. It wasn't really an option to not look. Anyway, her friends obviously told her about them and she managed to delete the pictures fairly quickly. I've never seen them again, but I'm positive they're floating around 4chan and I'll bet a lot of people saved the pictures. I've seen pictures of two exes on Argon Wild and on 4chan. I had nothing to do with them being there either. Also a girl I went to elementary school with, turned out to be a Sousa de Giral. I love the phrase turned out to be a Sousa de Giral, like it's something she was born with. I picture people gasping when you tell them this. In high school I was best friends with a girl in my theater class, and mentioned Reddit's Gone Wild board in passing. To my horror I found she is one of the more popular posters. For your information she was like a sister to me so the discovery midfap was horrifying. I went to junior, high and high school with Danny Woodward. That's it. My friend's ex from high school did a nude shoot for that Carib site and someone else found it and told pretty much everyone how to find it. The funny part is that her name on the site was Simone and people started calling her that. Then she kinda disappeared. My friend was a director for a while. It only happened once. He was driving his Escalade talking to some girl in a parking lot. That's all I saw before I sent him a text saying dude just saw you on the internet he instantly replied sorry dude. It happens. I didn't get it. At all. I saw my dog once. That be. Heck yes. I'm a college professor. Once during class. I heard some students mumbling about a student who wasn't there that day. I didn't catch what had happened exactly, but I did catch that it was on the local alternative news website. I went home and googled the student's name. Lots came up. She apparently did the pee and showed her student it in it to prove that she was over 18. I was pretty shocked. This was a good student who always sat in the front of the class. She was a little weird and antisocial, but I wouldn't have expected this. There were rumors that she got kicked out of school and lost a scholarship because of this, but that's not true. She dropped out of her own accord the day after I found out about it. I feel for the girl, though. I know she was having a hard time adjusting to being away from home for the first time. She got into some modeling that she mentioned in class a few times. I'm sure this led to the pee. It's too bad that this screwed up a whole semester for her. Possibly longer. I think she should have stayed in school and just owned it. Yeah, I made a pee. What of it kind of attitude. Yes, I saw an ad to make pee in my area. The deal was you didn't get paid, but you got to frick milfs as many times as you could that day. I was tempted for a brief moment and moved on. A couple minutes later, I thought that if I was tempted, surely someone I knew actually did it. So I went through all the thumbnails. And found this guy I knew who ran a local poetry slam. Hilarious. Only P I've ever purchased. I've found myself. FML. Yes. Twice. Both stepdaughters. Comma memories were ruined. Awkward doesn't begin to cover it. Go on. 
a workmate told me my ex-girlfriend was on the front page of an amateur P site, so I went and downloaded all the videos. Equals. Yeah, I found one of my buddies had done gay P, so I asked him about it. Then we had a bro night where we all drank, watched his porno, and critiqued his performance. I slept with him later. It was nice. One girl who was in many of my classes in high school is a P star. Award nominated even. A high school friend told me about her. She doesn't use her real name and her website claims she's 20 when she's really 24 and has a newborn baby. Somehow her subscription website updated with flat bellied photos and stories all through her pregnancy. She must have stocked up on a lot of pee. Either that or it repeats. When I was a freshman in high school I was sent to an alternative school. One of my teachers, science perhaps, was the girl on the cover of the very first volume of Girls Gone Wild. She even had the original, bit edited, photo that they used and gladly showed it to us. I'm trying to dig up a pic of the cover but no luck so far. I will never forget that lady's name as long as I live but with the internet being what it is I don't think it would be a good idea to share that much info. Not on the internet, but very unexpected, regardless. A friend needed to format reinstall her OS, so I'll let her put all her data on my computer while we wiped her old one. After the wipe, we copied everything back. I didn't delete her old stuff right away just in case we ran into any problems. After everything was finished, she came to me to remind me to delete her old stuff. Of course, I told her I did, when in reality I didn't. I have now seen her naked. And I am a horrible human being. In my freshman year of college, my roommate had gone home for the weekend. Back in yesteryear, lurking around 4chan for the occasional C was the pinnacle of a masturbatory experience. So I'm sliding away, and I come across a live thread. There's a C in what appears to be a public stall. This is a thread being updated in real time. But the more I look the more I realize that I recognize that the public stall is actually in the dorm across the street from mine. And the girl is a gloriously attractive girl in my major. Cut to two years later. I have transferred colleges. And all but forgotten the gorgeous sea I left when I did so. In these two years. I've become more sophisticated. After all. There's a whole subreddit dedicated to online exhibitionism. So I'm cruising all sophisticated like. And what do I find? The gorgeous C from yesteryear has dyed her hair, and continues to post on GW. To this day, I have no idea if she knows that I know. Never seen someone I know. Seen some people who highly resemble people I know, but upon further inspection I can tell it's not them. It was a heck of a thrill. She's some distant relation by marriage that I meet at family gatherings. When I thought I found a video of her jerking off it was awesome. I have also found some pictures of people that I swear could be siblings to friends of mine. Once I even researched the girl to figure out if maybe they were closely related, but no dice. Her jerking off. During 2004's election erection contest on college humor, I found a pic of my cousin with Nader and a picture of a marijuana leaf painted over her naked chest. One of my closest friends actually, I found her tea on 4chan. And it wasn't just once. I took a screenshot and photoshopped Nelson in it with HAHA but never sent it to her. I am a coward. Comma. The very first girl I ever HD a crush on, we're talking kindergarten here, is on the cover of a Girls Gone Wild video. This doesn't really count but I met Lexi Bell and had no idea she was a P-star at the time of meeting her. Went to art school with Stevie Hart. Her real name is Lindsay. Went to lots of crazy parties at her house and smoked men in a blunt with her. When I found out she was doing pee it was a pretty sweet day. I found my naked sister on Omegle. Twice. Yes I have but it was a male friend. He has passed away now. We went to HS together and he got this jack o lantern tattoo on his forearm it was unmistakably him. He was a good friend of mine in school but we lost touch after graduation. A few years later I was on Liz Vicious's site and there he was. I confirmed it with his dad at a small local bar a few months later. His dad was really cool and was proud of his son being in P. Since then I reconnected with that group of friends. I wish I could go back and hang out with him one last time. That night became a highlight in my life. 
was shown some pee that had a friend of mine in it. Weird enough. Until my ex-girlfriend also showed up in the same set of videos. Then followed the mental panic about whether this was before or after we dated. As those men did not look classy. Not by accident. Exactly. Worked at a large company in IT. Heard through the grapevine that a woman I worked with had just quit because somebody found out she did some amateur pee. And had found the sites and showed them around the office. What a douche. I had access to web proxy logs. Including some passwords. This was a long time ago when there were a lot of poor practices. Passwords and the open and get requests. That kind of thing. I was able to track down the P in question and get copies of it. Woohoo. Oh yeah I know a few girls. I once met this really good looking girl at a party. Who was way cool. And was slamming some beers with us. Well later in the night. She sits down at my friend's computer and pulls up a video of herself on amateur allure. Every dude in the room huddled over the screen to see what was going on. And sure as crap she was taking a pounding. What ended up happening was a bunch of dudes got really wasted, as well as her. And they ended up having a 4 man slash 2 girl bang session in the master bedroom. No I wasn't part of it, and I'm glad I wasn't because two of the guys ended up getting chlamydia. This girl is now known as Samantha Sin on the internet. And she's definitely fun to watch. Another girl I used to work with at a famous pizza place with a crappy mouse as their mascot is now a P-star as well. Quiet daddy's girl turned dong hungry tattooed starlet Ashton Pierce. I also know two other girls who are trying to be suicide girls. One of them posted her first nudes online recently and they are okay. These are all girls that I wanted to see naked. And thanks to the internet my wish has been granted. Thank you internet. You keep me smilling and fapping. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.